what's up everyone welcome back to n54 racing channel so this is going to be the official part one for project 335 is um, and we're going to begin with the baths on uh we got the interior all nicely shampooed cleaned up it's been drying for about a day now so uh i'm gonna record the installation of the bath sound stage one speaker upgrade including the subwoofers which everything is right here so i'll probably put you guys on a time lapse or i'll try to explain uh you know each step that i'm taking but um, i've never done this before i've never installed these speakers so it's going to be first time for me but um how hard can it be so we're going to start off by removing the two speaker uh, the, the covers that we have here and uh we'll put in our our subwoofer we have two on the back deck lid we have the ones that are on the doors with the tweeters and then we have the rear panels here that have uh both of them have tweeters as well so uh, i'm gonna grab all the boxes lay out all the speakers and uh see if we can get this connected actually before i do this i should probably check to make sure that the sound is working currently <laughs> might be a good idea all right so i just powered the car on obviously we have uh we have sound coming out i just wanted to double check that make sure we have a good amp and everything else is working so when we do the speaker install we uh we don't have any issues uh, so there's that next step is going to be uh replacing the subwoofers and then we'll do the center speaker we'll do the rear speakers and then we can move on to doing the ones that are on the door cards and on the uh, rear panels all right so first thing we're going to do is start off by removing this cover and it's just a couple of phillips screws that holds it down okay cover off And then right down here is the speaker and a nickel. So I believe we gotta remove this. That's just gonna give us access to split apart the carpet. And then right down here is the plug for the subwoofer. Subwoofer is unplugged. And then um, this comes out as a complete unit. So the, the plastic base that the subwoofer sits on um, is held on by a couple of 10 millimeter nuts. There's one here and one here. So let me grab a 10 mil. One, and there is the other. It's just these two little tin mills. Now this should pop up. And there we go. So this is our crusty OEM subwoofer. All right, so right here, I'm pretty sure it's just four T20 bolts that hold the subwoofer into this enclosure. So we'll start by removing these. And the 
it looks like there's a few clips uh, that we have to pry open in order to pop it out. Or not. So like it just comes out. So all we're left with is the base. So we'll go ahead and clean this out and we'll install the new Babson subwoofer. All right, so we have the new unit here. This just pops in place, like so. And four screws go back in. All right, so new unit is in. We'll go ahead and pop this back in the car and we'll do the other side. All right, so I went ahead and vacuumed this area here that still had some dirt and debris around there. So that's all clean. So we can go ahead and grab our subwoofer, throw it in there. Also, I just got some compressed air. It just cleaned out all the debris that was uh, in between these holes for the cover. Speakers fully seated. We'll pop our 10 mils back in. Now we can go ahead and plug in our connector here. So I noticed here on this connector, there's a tiny bit of corrosion, nothing crazy. It looks like the pins are still intact, but uh, I'm gonna just throw some electrical connector cleaner in there with a brush and then uh, use an air hose to clean this connector. Plug this in. Tuck this underneath. And now we can go ahead and throw our cover back on. Side is done. Uh, I'll go ahead and put this panel back on, and then we can head over to the next side and do the same thing.
All right, so here's all the speakers. Um, we have a pair of mid-ranges with long wires there, a second pair with longer wires here. We got those mid-ranges with the shorter wires and one single one with the short wires. So this is gonna be the single one that goes on top of the dash. Those two go on the rear deck. Uh, these two, the two long ones, I guess it doesn't matter. They go for the door and the uh, rear side panel. And uh, we have two tweeters there that are gonna go on the rear panel as well. And we have our regular tweeters for the front doors. So I'll set up a camera and we'll just uh, do a little time lapse of the install. Hey. All right, so we're done with the back deck speakers. I got both sides in. I kind of cleaned this up as well. It was a little bit dusty and dirty. Cleaned out the vents. Um, both, both of those are on. I didn't put these on yet because they're a little bit dirty. So I might just clean these, spray them, or just try to find new ones that aren't um, all dirty. So now we'll set up and do the front speaker right here. Same way we did the rear one three screws that hold it, we'll unplug it and just plug it back in and put it on. All right, so now that we got the rear deck lid done, uh, we're gonna go ahead and unscrew these three Phillips screws that hold this center mid-range speaker in place. We'll get this out and we'll throw the new one in. All right, now we'll go ahead and grab our front door card that we have right here. We'll get the speaker put in place. And we have the tweeter uh, that goes on the front door as well. All right, so now for the front tweeter, we just gotta take this piece of foam out from here. And then this should pop off. Like that. And the new one will just pop right back in place. dent on this so just bend it back okay and then keep in mind there's an opening at the bottom this is going to be uh where your wire is going to be routed so once that pops in like so 
take your foam piece and that pops right back in. There's your wire and the front is complete. So this is your front door tweeter. We just put the mid-range speaker on the front door panel. So we're good for the front. Now we'll go ahead and grab the uh, rear uh, interior panel and we will throw the mid-range in that with the tweeter as well. All right, so now for this rear tweeter right here. Um, this is a little bit tricky because it is, you need to remove this back plastic plate off of here and it seems to be glued. So I'm just gonna take a small flathead, kind of just pry around here, uh, pop this off and then uh, I'll show you. Then the speaker just pops off and we'll pop the new one in. All right, so now that we pop the cap off, uh, this speaker here should just pop off. Yep. So there it is. We'll go ahead and pop the new one in. All right, so cover back on, speakers inside. I'm gonna go ahead and just throw some some quick super glue around this. Make sure this back cover doesn't pop off.
All right, so rear panel, mid-range speakers in. We have the tweeter that's in. Tweeter gets connected to the power wire on this mid-range, and then this will just go to your factory connector. So rear is done, front's done, front tweeters are done, our dash is complete the rear deck is complete so we're going to go ahead and pop these panels in place right now i'm going to i already switched the driver's side uh, m3 mirror while i have this panel off i'm going to go ahead and switch this mirror as well and then we'll pop in all of our panels uh do a little sound test and see what she sounds like All right, so we are all done. All the speakers are in. Uh, I temporarily just put the panels in, kind of just loosely. Um, we got the front speakers, the rear speakers, all four are in. Uh, let's turn it on. Um, obviously, over a video, it's not going to do any justice because uh, you can't hear it in person. However, um, we'll do it anyways. I'm trying to see what this thing sounds like now that they're all in. Yeah, I mean. Okay. All right, we're gonna start off with some cello suite number one in g minor for you guys <laughs> G minor right there. I'm sorry, G major. Now let's uh, switch it up. All right, for our next sample, we're gonna be playing something off of the top G playlist. I made a post earlier on N54 Tech uh, about whether or not it was worth it, 1,000%. If you're planning on upgrading your speakers or they're blown out or whatever, and you want to do something, you know, uh, not like too crazy where you don't have to do any like custom work, this is a plug and play unit, absolutely perfect. And I definitely, hands down, 1,000% say that it is worth the money. So, with that being said, uh, we'll end the video here. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget, like, share, subscribe. The next video series on this car is going to be installing the CarPlay Avon radio. So we're going to put up the uh, stencil that they gave us and see where we're going to have to cut into the dash and do our wire harness. I think we have a backup camera, all that. So that's going to be on the next series. Hope you guys enjoyed part one 
of Project 335 IS. So I will see you guys on the next video.